world number one going up against the Olympic champion and host nation interest in this one indeed. Let's go and meet the contenders for the gold medal. Well, like I said, what a lineup we've got. 25 year old Brazilian Marcus Dalmeida is the current world number one, but he goes up against home crowd favorite and Turkish superstar, Olympic champion Mete Gazos, who's 23 years old and currently ranked world number eight. A very, very tight one to call. So, Chris, I'm not even going to bother asking you. Let's get tucked in to the recurve men's individual gold medal match between Dalmeida and Gazos. This is the match, right? This is the match we all wanted at the start of the week. One and two in qualifying, one point apart, cruised through their matches, and they've set it up for us. What a finish to this competition. <laughs> Worth noting that uh, Gazos has had some time on this finals range already, having taken Team Silver for Takia. Perhaps a slight advantage in the first set for him because of that. But starting with three tens and a perfect 30 is the perfect way for Gazos to stake his claim for gold here in Antalya. Brilliant start, Chris. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful to watch these two archers compete. For so many years, they've followed the kind of same career path. If you saw them competing at the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing in 2014, which I was really fortunate enough to do, you knew that they'd be around for the next decade. And nearly 10 years later, here we are. Two years ago, they both had the biggest results of their career. Marcus coming second at the World Championships. Mete, of course, winning the Olympics and changing everything uh, for the sport in Turkey. They're both incredible archers, top of their game right now. And as we go into this season, they're the two archers really to beat. Yeah, warm up for them. Uh, nice little warm up for us as well, isn't it? To see these two in a final. Yeah, always, Gazos. always a pleasure to watch Mete shoot. Always a pleasure to watch Marcus shoot. And to see who's got the upper hand before we get into the business end of things in 2023. Yeah, it's a, it's a treat. It certainly is a treat. And uh, Gazos with the early start. But now, Dalmeida has had some experience on the finals range. He's got a feeling for the conditions. Trials by two set points. So we'll start set number two. Nine. Still low and left. Is he going to make some changes to his sight? Four in a row now for the man on his home field. Ten. 
You jinxed it, Chris. So 29. Dalmade has certainly found the middle of the target now. A bit of pressure on Gazos. Looks like that's gone into the eight for a 27. And now we have definitely got a match on our hands. Two set points apiece between Dalmeida from Brazil and Gazos from Turkey. Was that a little bit of pressure shown there with that eight from Gazos? Yeah, but you saw the dialogue there between Mete and his coach, Goktuk. You know, it was a little, little flick of the hand, he said. They've known each other so long. They've been working with each other, other for, for, for 10 years or more. And it's wonderful um, to see them still communicate so much behind the line, that, that real symbiotic coach-archer relationship. New coach on the other side of the line from Marcus Dalmeida. Alberto coming over, he was with the British team before, now the head coach in Brazil. And since he's come, Marcus's results have really rocketed. Two apiece in the recurve men's individual gold medal match here at the World Cup warm-up, the Spring Arrows archery tournament in Antalya, Turkey. And we have got a real tasty one on our hands. Nice. There's no doubt who the uh, crowd are behind in this one. A 27 set. Nine enough to take the two set points for Gazos. Nine not enough for him though. A 29 from Mete Gazos. And puts himself back into a two-point lead at four set points to two against Dalmeida. But there's no question that Dalmeida can fight back as he did in the second and uh, draw this one level again. Yeah, no question that the, the both of them are still in this. But you know, what, a, what a statement performance from Mete if he can close this out at the start of the year. Home range, home field, this is where he trains. He's the Olympic champion. Just want to remind everyone, I'm still here. You know, we're, we're into the World Cup cycle. We're into the World Championships. We're at the start of Olympic qualifying. It was a weird one the last time around. He's got a, a claim to stake yet again. We move into set number four. And uh, Dalmeida finds himself, for the second time in the match, two set points down. Can he repeat his efforts of set number two and draw this one level again? Hey. Well, you could see the uh, Bo Kwondo there from Dalmeida trying to pull that arrow across from left to right. Sniffing the opportunity just outside the 10 ring. Mete knows this win. No doubt he's more comfortable than Marcus. Oh, this is a critical arrow for Gazos. Nice. 
So holding that one point lead. And now it's time for the critical arrow for Dalmeida. So a 26 set for Gazos. A seven will not be enough. An eight to tie. A nine to win. He pushes it into the eight for uh, 26 himself. And that means, well, subject to confirmation from the target judge, this is going to go into a fifth set with the, the points shared in set number four. Yeah, Mete got away with one on his second arrow. He hold it a little bit long. And when he, when he loses normally, there's quite a long swing on his bow, right? There's a lot of distance between the hand and the grip and it, it moves around a lot and sometimes he just tries to you know move it a little bit he gives it a little bit of finger and and you can see it and and we've spoken to Mete a lot we've spoken to Goksuk a bit if, if Mete loses his concentration a little bit then you know he, he loses that magic and that magic we've seen him shoot tens after tens and you know defy logic um Goksuk will be telling him calm down Calm down. Keep keep things sensible, and we can smile about it afterwards. <laughs> well, there's no doubt that uh, Dalmeida has got the quality to take this to a shoot off, but still trailing. We'll shoot first in the fifth, the final regulation set. Hey. Opportunity. For Gazos. Visible frustration from Marcus on that first arrow. Nine. And visible determination at full draw, but he's just not finding the middle. Provisionally on a 19. Dalmeida hits the middle of the target for the third time in the match for a 27. Well, you can do the maths. Just needs to draw level on score. And it looks like he may well have just done that. Called an eight for a 27 with uh, one arrow potentially being measured. That would be enough, but I'm always reluctant to call this until we've had confirmation uh, from the target judge. Chris, do you have a feel? It looks like Mete is taking this, but everyone's just waiting, aren't they? It's not clear <laughs> cut. It's not quite, uh, it's not quite there. We have to wait because uh, if one of those arrows is an eight, it's possible that both of them are an eight. There's a round of rapports. Oh, there you have it. Uh, Gazos has done enough in the final set to take the gold medal here at the Spring Arrows. He's beaten Marcus Dalmeida from Brazil. So it's uh, two individual gold medals for Takia.